Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Uh, this coming weekend, October 22nd to 23rd, is Hasbro PulseCon, and Hasbro has hooked us up with a box of goodies in celebrating uh, the upcoming online convention, whatever you want to call it, preview. Uh, we're previewing a whole, whole bunch of stuff, some of the stuff that's going to be coming out, some of these uh, have already been announced, uh, and you'll be able to get all this stuff. So in my hands is one of the figures from the Ghostbusters Plasma Series uh, Afterlife Figures. Retails for $22.99. Uh, Ghostbusters will face all sorts of ghastly ghosts and gruesome goals in Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, featuring premium design, detailing, articulation, collection of highly posable 6-inch figures embodies the quality and realism of Ghostbusters fans are looking for. Uh, Ghostbusters series Wave includes six figures from the 2021 film. Trevor Lucky, Podcast, Peter Winston, and Ray. Comes with a Sentinel Terror Dog Build a Ghost piece. And they collect them all to build the Sentinel Terror Dog. Uh, you can get this from major retailers. We're going to open up and show off Trevor. I have not seen Ghostbusters Afterlife, uh, so I have no idea what to expect. I kind of get my ideas, and my guesses, I mean, but uh, I have not seen the film, so I, I really don't know the character, and got got little beyond the, uh, the trailers that we have all seen so far. Uh, I'm a Ghostbusters fan. I mean, this is a property that I remember watching when it came out. Uh, back in the 80s, and I've watched so many times over and over and over again. Um, I, I I love me some Ghostbusters. I love the first film. The second film, I will argue, was not up to snuff. I know some people disagree with me. Many people seem to disagree with me on that one, but I'm sorry. It's my belief. All right, so let's see Trevor. We do a little test. We always do the stand test. Standing, no problem. Let's do the bend test. Uh, looks like the ankles and feet do not move. Knee, double jointed. Oh, this is a stiff one. Urgh. So we'll get the knee double joint. Uh, hip, pretty good. It looks like we got the thigh. Can go side to side and on either side. Uh, lower leg doesn't look like it has anything. Uh, waist has a little bit of twist. And here, that's the waist. Uh, arms are... Is, oh, 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 whoops, just pop that out. Uh, this is very, it's a very stiff figure. Um, elbow goes side to side, and up and down. Uh, it just looks like it's a one bender on that. Yeah, the arms are, the whole figure, very stiff as far as everything goes. Wrist really just twists side to side. Doesn't look like we can get much of a bend. Head. We get a bit of a swivel. Um, yeah, all right, so let's go through what we got. Of course, you got the demon piece here. It looks like we got a map of, I'm guessing, the town that they live in. Yep, I'm gonna guess this is a small little map that plays into the game, or to the film, the game, the film. Uh, let's see here, we got mini Stay Puffed. Figures. Eh, kind of cute. Interesting. Uh, but this is what we really care about, right? We don't care about the, the backpack and the everything else, how that all comes together. Let's see here. I mean, yes, this this obviously needs to plug in somewhere. Yes, the bottom here. All right, this is the big test, right? We're gonna see how easy this is to get this on the figure. All right, there's a little thing that pops off. There's a back, uh, a peg in the back of the figure. Oh, I think we've already messed this up. Easy this is to get this on. The answer is not. This is not that bad. Um, and let's see how easy this is to pop back on. I mean, it's so easy to at times get the initial on, but not the not the right things back to where they were. Um, question is. Now let's look at these accessories. Like one person has these things kind of going across their chest. 
don't know what's up with that. We also got this like peg here, which I'm not quite sure about. Can we I don't know if this is supposed to be righty or not. Today's hands are so hard to get stuff in. That's a fascinating thing with so many different toys. There we go. Alright, stand test with the Proton Pack. Pretty good. I feel like these go somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, all right, I mean, overall, it's, 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 it wasn't bad getting together. I mean, it looks like you can pose pretty well. There we go. That's, that's some decent posing. Uh, and the, the little plug stays in the back pretty good as well. Um, let's, let's talk detail. The detail in the Proton Pack, I think, is, is, is solid. This is a nice rendition of it. Um, like, all of it, I think, is, is really good. I have no idea what that part's for. It doesn't seem to, like, correlate to anything. So, I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Um, unless there's, you know, other things that you can attach down the road with it. I mean, the look on the... I don't know the characters at all, so I can't really talk too much about the face. The sculpt itself is kind of boring. Like, there's not much emotion to it. I, you know, I wish there was maybe a little something else. Um, but, I mean, like, it, it feels like it's a good rendition. Um, I don't know if this is, like, the most amazing thing in the entire world blown away. If I was maybe, like, die hard into this film, I would, you know, I'd seen it and knew all that stuff, I'd maybe be a bit more up for this figure. Uh, but honestly, I just don't, I think I just don't know enough about the film and the characters to really have much of an opinion. Um, but we'll talk about the Proton. The Proton pack, I think, it looks really nice. Like, this is just, this is not, looks like a cool version of it. And uh, the details, I think, really good. And the, the way to get it on is good. And the, the jumpsuit itself, I think, is really nice. The It being unzipped in the front adds some layers and a nice detail to it. Um, but overall, like, to me, it's 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 cool. Like, it's fine. Um, you know, if I was, again, a diehard Ghostbusters fan, I might be all over this. If I was a diehard Afterlife fan, I might be all over this. I do like the shoes. The shoes are pretty cool. But overall, like, it's just, it, it feels like it's a good sculpt. We'll go with that. Like, it's the best way I'd put it. It, just, it feels like it's a good sculpt. Um, so, yeah, it, it is what it is. Like, it will be interesting to see if my thoughts change post-film um, versus, you know, now having not seen the film yet uh but overall cool i mean it's looks like it'll be a, a fun set when everything comes out i think i might be a bit more uh pumped if i got like ray and all of them but this isn't bad is it, it looks nice as i said like the face is a little emotionless the details are nice on like the hair and the backpack and the, the jumpsuit itself uh but there's probably only so much you can do with this sort of figure uh you can get this i believe now we got uh we'll hopefully have some links where you can purchase it they'll likely be affiliate links so we get a small percentage of that by doing the annual support our site though i want to thank hasbro again for opening us up with the, a copy of this a figure to unbox and show off i'm super excited for uh for hasbro PulseCon. of course we'll be attending and uh having all the news come out of it uh and thanks for watching if you want the latest toy news Ghostbuster News, whatever. Check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Keep playing with your toys and get your geek on. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.